Hey, Brick Barron's back, man. A lot of you are probably going to hate this video. And um, I guess, I, you know, everybody's got their own, their own views. But there is a reason why I'm doing it. So let's get into it. The creation, uh, the creator vacation getaway set. This was a 2016 set. This was an absolutely beautiful set with three amazing builds tied to vacations using the same parts. You had, you got the camper, you got the, the boat, the, the cabin cruiser, and you got the, uh, the townhouse, the vacation house. All three look phenomenal. This set to me was a, a really testament of, of design, engineering, planning, and resource management. Um, so hats off to me. In 2016, this is a set that could be argued to creep into the top 10 for those reasons alone. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is um, you know, we know as investors that city theme sets, non-theme sets typically don't do as well as theme sets. That's true. But occasionally, a set comes along that sort of takes us by surprise. And if you look back at Sunji Munjin from uh, 2012, this set did a retail for 35 bucks. It's currently reselling for $283. Now, obviously the Creator Vacation Getaways is not going to do that. I know that, and we all know that. But I'm just making the point that a really nice set can surprise. Let me dig further here. So let's compare it to the family house in 2013. I know it's not an exact match, but it was really hard going back over the database for the last 20 years. Lego has done campers before, but much smaller sets. They've done smaller boats, um, but never like tied together in a three to one package deal. So family house, we used 2013, retail price of 70 bucks, current value of 93, and parts value of $92. That's not too bad. This set is currently reselling for plus one percent of its parts value again not bad for a non-themed set that's only recently retired so getting back to the vacation getaways um i just i guess in this video uh, my subjectivity is kind of getting the better of me i mean i probably should stay away from this set altogether but there's something about it draws me in I, I just i can't put my finger on it so we have two minifigs to talk about, but there's really not much to get excited about here. You can buy these minifigs for a dollar, three dollars on the secondary market. They're not going up in value. They're not going to drive the price. Let's move on. So um, we do have parts value on the set of 84, and we have retail price of 70. That is a horrible spread. <laughs> right there is a red flag. Ding, ding, ding. Do not buy this for investment. Um, I do think if they had included a molded a bear like what they did with the uh, the forest, or was it the forest? Uh, Robbers set about 2012, they had a molded bear that looked really good. If they had put that in here, that would have popped this price up about uh, another 20 bucks, but they didn't, so they yeah, rolled with it, I suppose. So, two years after retirement, what do we got? Well, we got 85 bucks. Again, uh, you know, it's, it's, that, that's not bad. I mean, for two years out, I mean, uh, even theme sets sometimes are below that, but not enough there really to get too excited about. Eight years out, you got 96 bucks. The parts projected go up to 95, plus 1%, 96. Uh, man, I guess, okay, yeah, I know, man. I, I know that the money is not there. I mean, but I guess you kind of have to think of it like, what are your goals? I mean, not every set is going to double um, in price in, in, you know, between two and eight years. So what's a margin as a reseller? Do you want, are you comfortable with just a 20% margin or maybe even a 30 or 40%? I guess depending on what you define um, and how, if you're a high volume seller or you're a low volume seller, if you want to wait for like, like maybe 10, 15 years before you resell, I mean, there's just so many variables there. Um, but I do think there is enough meat here, um, especially getting on sale, that would definitely um, make it somewhat attractive. So my bottom line here is, um, the set is not projected to do very well. Um, it's, it'll probably make maybe 20% profit for you if you hold it um, up to maybe five years out past retirement. So nothing to get too excited about. But the, the thing is that, you know, what if? And something about this set is just kind of just gnawing at me and just saying, you know, it's got potential to do something special. I don't think it's going to, it won't do what Sanji Munjin did. Let's be clear about that. But is it possible this set maybe five years out could be around, um, you know, I don't know, $110, $125, you know, getting close to doubling? Um, I think it's possible, uh, but I will have to advise against it because the raw numbers are just coming in as a big red flag. Um, I'm still going to buck the trend. I'm going to buy one just to have it, just to see, you know, and uh, we'll go from there. So as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching and um, 
uh, you know, subscribe if you like the videos and um, I'll keep going. And, um, you know, as a reminder, these are illustrations. It's fun topic, a little bit of data thrown in there. And, uh, you know, I don't make any money really with this channel. So if that's what, if you guys are thinking I'm somehow have some kind of hidden agenda here, um, yeah, not really. I hate to disappoint you, man. I'm just an average guy who enjoys uh, crunching numbers and uh, uh, stats on his spare time with Lego. So I'll see you, man. Bye.